people get on po uh, social media and try to police what people are passionate about or angry about, especially when it comes to social justice issues, get on my last fucking nerves. Like, cut that shit out. Like the whole, oh, why y'all worried about this? It's just a distraction. And why y'all worried about that? Y'all should be worrying about this. Shut the fuck up. We can worry about more than one thing. Let me tell you something. We are free thinking people and we can protest and be mad about whatever the fuck we want to, however many things that we want to and do it however we wish. And the beauty of social media is this. Keep fucking scrolling. No one asked you if you were upset. If you don't give a fuck about it, then keep the fuck moving on. And here's the thing that's so upsetting about it all is that I see this coming a lot from women. This is so fucking sick to me absolutely sick i don't fuck with r kelly i haven't fucked with r kelly in years since he's pissed on that little girl and that is my fucking choice just like it's your choice to do whatever the fuck you want to do and i think the bigger issue is is that a lot of these people who are his fans and who support bill cosby and people like that they're taking it personally there's a lot of them that aren't though that are having constructive conversations and the thing is, it's not even fucking about you. It's about possible victims being manipulated, brainwashed, also shit that we've known about with him being a fucking pedophile. As quick as the news story came out, these people so quickly came in and was caping for him. Oh, they just trying to make him look bad. Blah. No, nigga, he already fucking looks bad. Even if he wasn't holding these particular women as hostages or brainwashing them or manipulate them, the fact remains that he's a 51-year-old man with 20-some-odd-year-old 20 some odd year old girls that he's probably been with since they were 18 or before they were 18. But y'all have no fucking problem with that. Y'all quit to say, oh, they grown. 20's grown now, so that's what we're doing. Yo ass wasn't even wiping correctly at the age of 20. Probably still wiping from back to front, but all of a sudden, 20 year olds are no all be all. Fucking 20 year old is probably living in your house right now and you're paying all of their bills, car insurance, medical insurance, meals, telling them what to do, when to do it, how to do it, but they're grown. People kill me acting like as soon as somebody becomes a legal age, that makes just everything that fucking happens okay. I understand that at a certain extent, a parent can only do what a parent can do. I get that. Don't sit here and act like if your 20-year-old daughter started flipping the script on you and acting how she's never acted in the 20 fucking years that you've known her, that you would not be concerned as her parent. Don't sit here and act like if you found out 15 other girls were in the same type of situation that that wouldn't raise fucking red flags for you. You just be like, oh, well, she's grown. She can do what she want to do. For full of shit. Y'all need to stop caping for these abusers, these child molesters, these fucking predators, these pedophiliacs, all of that shit. It's fucking disgusting. Especially when it comes to your favorites or your idols or your mentors or people that you looked up to all of your life. I get it. That shit sucks. Like, who wants to find out that Santa Claus is fucking kids? You know what I'm saying? But shit fucking happens. Shit gets real. And then you have to make a decision on what exactly you're going to stand behind. Making excuses for Santa Claus just because he brings niggas gifts on December 25th does not dismiss his nasty ass fucking behavior. Fuck that. The, uh, the one of the most disturbing things is every time there are black women and girls that are in shit like this, y'all so quick to dismiss it as though they're fast and ain't shit women. I said this shit on Facebook, but I swear, I would hate to be one of your kids, whether it's your son or your daughter, your nieces, your nephews, telling you that I've been molested or abused. Because all you gonna say is, well, what did you do? Same, victim blame. That's exactly why shit like 50 some odd women don't start coming out of the woodworks till 60 years down the line because of people like y'all how many of my friends have been raped have been abused have been molested have been preyed upon by older men when we were just teenage girls but we didn't realize that it was pedophilia do you know so now all of a sudden it's so far-fetched because it's r kelly because the nigga sings i believe i can fly well i believe the nigga's a motherfucking pedophile and i'm an extremely intelligent woman i'm very smart i'm great at multitasking and i'm very talented i think i can walk and chew fucking bubble gum at the same time pretty sure that I can find time in my motherfucking day to be mad about what happened with those women with R. Kelly, be mad about Donald Trump, bake a cake, pick my daughter up from school, listen to the new 21 Savage all in the same day. What I'm not going to keep doing is keep trying to dictate to people what they can be passionate about. If you don't like it, fucking block them. I block y'all niggas all the time.